Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here this morning. We have got this beautiful Triumph Tiger 800 XCA behind us. I put about uh, 850 miles on that over the last couple days. It's become one with the motorcycle. It's really quite a thing of thing of beauty. Uh, there's a real uh, there's a real divide between a modern motorcycle like this and something like my beautiful T100 over yonder or other bikes like that. Actually, it's not a divide, it's a chasm, and it's a rift a mile wide. It's just absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna tell you all about it, so let's go for a ride. Wahoo! All righty, we are in beautiful Guthrie County, just northeast of Springbrook State Park, that big expanse of trees right there. One of my favorite places in Iowa. This area is absolutely full of deer, loads of it everywhere. Last time we were up here, I think we saw about a dozen of them. So I think we shall slow down. I, of course, am a little leery of deer spending 10 days in the hospital because of them. Look at that hawk. So the motorcycle, I put about 900 miles on this so far, and I have just grown like this. It's like my brother, my best friend. My, It's really made an impact. It's really, it's really done something. It's quite a different machine than anything else I've ever ridden. Uh, it's not something you can learn in 50 miles or 100 miles. You really, you've really got to take one like I've had the opportunity to do and just put some miles on it. And it, it's really a driver's machine. If you're a person that enjoys riding a motorcycle while enjoying the country, you know, both inside and outside of the motorcycle, this is a motorcycle for you. And it, uh, it does it in several different ways. First is the engine. This inline triple is really an amazing engine. It just seems to have plenty of power. Well, 94 horsepower, as a matter of fact. 58 foot-pounds of torque. That's uh, 79 Newton meters, I believe. Just always seems to be where you want it to be, when you want it. And by the way, I'm getting almost 50 miles a gallon while riding this thing. So uh, very impressive in that way, too. And the next thing would be the suspension. It's just a dream. It's predictable. It's stable. It's, uh, I don't want to call it twitchy, but it certainly is able to move very quickly. At low speeds, it handles incredibly well. I just can't believe this bike weighs 500 pounds wet. Uh, going through town where I live, there's, you know, there's little jogs that you make in the road, things you get used to. I was doing that on this bike just like I was doing it on my Classic 350. It, the handling was really that quick. And I think that's all a result of the uh, excellent suspension this bike has. And, and of course, the higher center of gravity. I think that actually helps in a motorcycle like this. Uh, next would be the comfort of the motorcycle. It's a very comfortable thing to ride on. The handlebar is in the right spot. The seat is absolutely amazing. The first 300 miles, I had a little issue with the seat, but uh, after that, I've learned to just love it. It's also in a very good spot. The rider is really in the center, really right in the pivot point of the bike. So even if you get on a bumpy road that's doing this, you're in a good spot. You're kind of in the sweet spot for that pivot. Works very well. And then there is the wind protection. And that is just mind blowing. Uh, I've heard of this from my, I've heard about this a lot from my Tiger friends. They always go on and on about it, and now I fully understand what they're talking about. This thing really gives you good rider protection. And by the way, cruise control on a bike like this is just phenomenal. And not the one button. This is the, uh, this is the kind that has the uh, up and down button. What a beautiful machine. What an absolutely beautiful machine. So, incredible engine. Awesome suspension and handling. Great brakes, I forgot to mention that. Amazing brakes. Phenomenal ride, passenger in pure luxury, and then good protection from the elements. I did get caught in a little bit of rain, but it was just a little bit. And uh, again, my helmet did not get any water on it. The bike caught it, but I didn't. Very good, very good. I love this thing. It took me uh, about 50 miles to get used to the sound. That was one thing that was very different for me. And uh, they say they've changed that a little bit on the new 888 engine. This is the 800cc engine. The new 888 has what they call a 240 degree crank, I think, or T-plane or something like that. But it makes a little more of a womp womp sound, more traditional motorcycle sound. This is Springbrook State Park. Like I said, one of the prettiest parks in Iowa, as far as I'm concerned. It itself is an inline triple, liquid cooled, dual overhead cam, four valve per cylinder, powerhouse, 94 horsepower, 58 foot pounds of uh, torque, 79 Newton meters, incredibly smooth. Always seems to have the torque right where you want it. About 85% of its torque is available at about 2,500 RPM, so very low in the RPM range. Just a beautiful machine in that sense. She's got a she's got an amazing six-speed transmission. Good spread between the gears. Something interesting about the transmission: I had the bike in road mode, and I thought the transmission was kind of clunky. I put it in the sport mode, and it seemed to smooth out. Now I don't know if there's any connection between the modes and the transmission. I'm guessing it could have been the rider, you know, me getting used to the bike. Maybe I just like more aggressive shifting. <laughs> right. 
The suspension itself is fully adjustable on the front. And I think the rear is adjustable for dampening and compression. The front forks are 43 millimeter, they're inverted. Travel in the front is 8.66 inches or about 220 millimeters. Travel in the rear is 8.46 inches or about, let me think about this, 215 millimeters. The thing has plenty of suspension for what I've been doing. I did take it on some gravel and the suspension, by the way, on gravel was just mind-blowingly good and so was the traction control. I'll put some video in about that right now. Wow, this is amazing traction control. The bike handles phenomenally well. Just absolutely amazing handling motorcycle. Now I have not done any adjustments to the suspension. I weigh about 215 pounds first thing in the morning and uh, it has worked phenomenally well for me. I love it, I just love it. It does have a horse saddle type seat and I had a little trouble with that in the beginning but once I got used to it, I've grown to just love it. I did a 300 mile day on it and uh, by about the 200 mile bark, I was ready to get off the bike for a little bit. But since then I've grown to love it and it actually has worked very well. I did a couple 200 mile days without any trouble. I think I could do that. I think the seat is just fine now that I've gotten used to it. Uh, looking up here to controls and all these kind of things, incredibly well equipped bike. I love this TFT, this full color TFT. It's a, it's a five inch TFT and it works incredibly well. Now this is a five year old motorcycle, so this is actually a dated product. The newer ones I believe have a uh, seven inch TFT. So let's start up here with the uh, switch gear. I've got a clutch lever with a adjustability for throw. Up here I've got the, uh, over here I've got high lows, heated seats, I've got fog light button right here. I've got an incredible cruise control, the best cruise control I've ever had in a motorcycle. Mode button right here. Awesome Triumph blinkers. Down here's a uh, horn, and then over here's a joystick for this. Jumping over to the other side, there's a hazard light button. The off switch, run switch, start switch is all one thing. And then a home button down here. And of course the fly-by-wire throttle. This bike has, I think it's six modes. It has a uh, rain, road, sport, off-road, off-road pro, and then configur configurable. And I don't know what the difference between off-road and off-road pro is. Jumping down here to the dash, look at that, it's very clear. You have three options, and I played with all three of them. They're all about equal. It all, it all really comes down to where do you want your tachometer and where do you want your uh, gear indicator. I like this setup right here right now. I was fine with the other two. So up here is the mode on the upper left, fuel gauge here, clock, ambient air temperature, it's about 74 degrees, speedometer. Then down here is your cruise indicator on the right your tack and then your gear indicator. Um, it has a system where it will, when I pull into my garage it turns black, you know, high contrast, whatever you want to call it. Down on the bottom, controlling it, controlled with this switch here, you can, uh, like right now I've got my mile, trip warm miles, things like that, coolant temperature, uh, my gauge options for style, auto contrast settings, you know, things like that. It's a very good system. Its software is about five years old, so it isn't quite as intuitive as a modern system would be. Handlebars, <laughs> they're in a great spot. Somebody's put these rocks risers on it. You could tilt them forward if you wanted to. I found it would be in just a perfect, perfect position. Uh, somebody put this aftermarket screen on there. I've heard that uh, Triumphs don't need that. You know, the friends I have that have Triumphs generally have the stock screen on it and it works very well. This goes up and down. I've had it in the down position the whole time and it's given me phenomenal coverage, excellent protection. Of course, it comes, this bike comes stock with these grips. Nice. Oh, and by the way, the brake lever is adjustable too. I didn't mention that. And you know, I ride a lot of motorcycles and I never adjust the levers because I, I kind of like a bike chameleon, you know, it just kind of works fine. Now this one, I've had the opportunity to put all these miles on and I did do a little brake adjustment and it made it a lot more rideable. You know, a little more easier, you know, a little more what I wanted. I like that a lot. So the riding position on this motorcycle, I am sitting upright, but leaning forward slightly when I'm on the bars. Uh, going down the highway, I'll have the cruise control on and I'll just lean back, you know, one arm on the wheel or even no hands on the wheel. And it works very well, very comfortable. My uh, knees are lower than my hips. My heels are behind my knees. It's a little bit of a tight spot for me. Uh, it doesn't really become a problem until about two or three hours into the ride. And what I end up doing is flexing my legs a lot. If this were my motorcycle, I would put forward pegs on it, you know, for the highway. And uh, I think that would alleviate that problem and give me a little more flexibility of riding. I really think you could ride this bike to the coast and back without any trouble. This is just an amazing machine. So we talked about the engine, the awesome transmission, the great handling, the supple ride, just to see, uh, I, I can't say enough good about the ride. 
And then of course the wind protection, the rider protection, that's what makes this a real modern motorcycle. Those things, you know, the engine, the suspension, the way it rides, the, the riding experience that it delivers to the rider, and then the weather protection that it gives you. It just does all those things so well. And then to add to that, the five gallon gas tank and the uh, incredible range and a good fuel mileage. And uh, it's just, it's a real dream. It's a real dream. So the seat height on this is 33 inches, 840 millimeters. And it's also adjustable. You can raise it up a little bit if you want. I think up to another inch. And uh, I don't think that's bad. I think it's very good. I haven't had any trouble getting on and off the motorcycle. I am on my toes when I'm stopped. Uh, a lot of people think, well, that's such a tall motorcycle. How do you ride it? I've got a friend named Gary. He owns one of this, this exact model. And he's probably, I don't know, four or five inches shorter than I am. And he makes riding a Tiger look easy. This is a CCC era shelter house. There's several of those in this park. They built these from the mid thirties into the mid forties, 1940s. So this, this has been here, you know, close to a hundred years. Okay, I'm gonna hop off this hot rod. I'll get the other camera out. We'll do a little walk around and see what we can learn. Look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? Now let's just go over some things real quick again. Gorgeous Brembo brakes, 305 millimeter floating disc, two piston calipers on this. Amazing ABS. I had this on gravel just rolling like a madman and it just performed so well. It was so manageable, so controllable. And I'll give that to the brakes and to this gorgeous 21 inch wheel. It's a 90-90-21 on the front. Beautiful Metzler. What is it, a Torrance? Yep, Torrance. Inverted forks, of course, well protected as they should be. Little fog lights on the front here, aftermarket screen. Look at that little beak, isn't that just gorgeous? I've caught a few bugs, as you can see. These are an aftermarket product. If this is my bike, I would change those out, at least get the different color. It's got a heavy duty skid plate, and I believe that is a factory item. A big aluminum skid plate's factory like that. I love the foot pegs. Not sure if those are factory or not. That's a helmet holder right there. Oh, it's a rear foot peg, I guess. Back brake is a uh, 255 Nissan single pot. ABS also, messer on the rear. The tire on the rear is a 150 70 17. Beautiful cast aluminum uh, swing arm, two sided, chain drive, six speed. Here's a re oil reservoir for the uh, rear shock. It's a monoshock. Incredible machine, incredible. I can't say enough about the handling of this bike. It's just phenomenal, phenomenal. It's a real, real wet dream on rubber. I really am in love with this thing. I, I ride a lot of motorcycles. Look at that radiator. I get to ride a lot of motorcycles and uh, I really appreciate Baxter Cycle lending me this motorcycle. But uh, anyway, it, it's this is right up there at the very top, I would say, of all the bikes I get to ride. I've ridden the new 850. Phenomenal machine, great handling, not as feature rich as this. I have also ridden the new 900. That triple eight power plant is really something special. It's a just, it's just a beautiful machine, just a beautiful machine. So a beautiful machine, beautiful area. Get yourself over to Baxter Cycle. They can help you out with a bike like this, a newer used Triumph Royal Enfield, British classic motorcycle of any type, parts, accessories, boy, have they got accessories. And uh, gear, they've got all the gear you can ever imagine. Get a hold of those guys, BaxterCycle.com. Now, it's a beautiful day out. I'm gonna go for a walk and then I'm gonna go for a ride. Y'all do the same, life is good, wahoo. This bike just continues to surprise me. It's amazing what this thing can do. It is a real, it is a real sword, a real weapon. Just a phenomenal machine in every way. Let's see where we're at here. I was hoping for pavement, but I think we got another, well, we'll go back this way.